and welcome to today's video on uh, how to configure storage quota for a mailbox database in Exchange 2016. The quota limits configured for a mailbox database are used as the default limit for all mailbox in the database. Storage quota allows administrator to control the size of mailboxes and the manage the growth of the mailbox database. You can configure the limit so it issue a warning when it approaches its limit so it stops receiving email at a limit and you can specify how long deleted items are kept inside the mailbox database. A new feature is also there in Exchange 2016, at least via Exchange Admin Center, is that you can now see how much mail a user has in their mailbox in a graphical form. So let's configure the storage quota for mailbox database in Exchange. And as I mentioned, these settings are done at mailbox database level. So these settings we specify apply to all users who have the mailbox in the mailbox database on which we set a limit. To configure, we have to use Exchange Admin Center or we can also use Exchange Management Shell. But for this demonstration, I will use Exchange Admin Center in order to log in as our administrator. That means I have a sufficient privilege. Now let's click on servers. On a servers, on a database tab, you can see your mailbox databases are there. Now we have a two mailbox database named MDB01 and MDB02. Now we want to set a storage quota limit on MDB01. So select it and now click on edit button. Click on limits and here you can see the default limit. It will issue a warning at 1.9 GB. It will prohibit send at 2 GB and it will prohibit send and receive at 2.3 GB. The default uh, limit for the day to keep deleted items is 14 days and this will keep deleted mailbox for 30 days. Now you can specify when to issue a warning, when to stop allowing the user to send mail and finally when to actually stop the user's mailbox from receiving email. You can also really annoy user by sending them a pop-up message on the screen warning them to remove all emails if you want to. Now let's set a limit for this demonstration. I want to give a warning at a 5 GB. Let's specify the prohibit send at 6 GB and you want to prohibit send and receive at 7 GB. You also want to keep deleted items for at least 20 days. Once you have decided on your limits as per your exchange organization, then click on save to save these changes. Okay, let's uh, use exchange management shell to see the new quota on our mailbox database. Okay, let's type a same delete cat mailbox database space hyphen identity name of our database it is mdb01 pipe format list and quota. Hit enter and as you can see now we have a issue warning quota at 5 GB, prohibit send quota at 6 GB, prohibit send receive quota at 7 GB. Now let's see how many mailbox which we have on our mailbox database named mdb01. So let's run cmd let's get mailbox hyphen database name mdb01. Hit enter and you can see we have a total four mailboxes on our mailbox database name mdb01 and one is James Smith. Now let's view the mailbox statistics in Exchange 2016 by using graphical form. Let's again go back to Exchange Admin Center, click on recipients, once click on refresh and here we have our user name Jim Smith. Click on edit, click on mailbox uses and here you can see the more options is there. As you can see our user Jim Smith's mailbox is on our mailbox database name mdb01 and we assign these quota settings on our mailbox database. So that means our user name Jim Smith has limit it will issue a warning at 5 GB, prohibit send at 6 GB and prohibit send and receive at 7 GB. You can manually set a quota on individual user mailbox by selecting this box. You can now specify the customized quota settings for this mailbox and then click on save. So this is the way how you can configure a storage quota for mailbox database as well as for individual user mailbox. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.